guys, that was so crazy. Lord knows, I don't know how he did it. We're up to about 75 miles an hour. Don't leave me here. Well, you made that look easy. Well, that was easy. Like, <gasps> I mean, it could have been worse. Welcome back to the channel. If you watched our last video, you saw us working on the roof of our 1976 Dodge Cruise Air. And you may have also seen that we had some news about a new purchase. And I'm not sure why exactly we, <laughs> we made this additional purchase, but um, basically saw a deal that we thought was too good to pass up. It just it was just such a cool looking camper. And so um, we're gonna show you the trip to go get it and us checking it out for the first time. And then we will give you a tour of the inside. So I get this text from Christy earlier today. He said he will accept all offers. I'm thinking to myself, oh boy, here we go. So we've been looking at this house. It's a rundown house. Possibly going to refurbish that. Um, probably more likely tear it down and start over. But anyway, bring all offers. So she has me intrigued. And then there's a link down below that text. I click on that. It's a travel trailer. 1973 Holiday Rambler. I'm like, that was out of left field. So, lo and behold, we're driving to go look at a Holiday Rambler. We should be there in just a minute. Oh, we're on another bumpy back road. Um, we didn't mention anything about filming, so I'll try to show you as much as we can. We might have to be discreet. And there she is. Oh, look at this driveway. All right, should we stop? I mean, we're in a muck puddle. I can pull if we, it. Yeah, we might have to pull through. Okay. When we make our great escape, we're going to be in some serious stuff. Oh, Lord have mercy. That was so crazy. He literally had it parked in a fresh compost pile that he just drug out into the yard. So the flies and bugs were intense. So what do you think of it? The guy was super nice and super helpful, but I think he was just ready to unload it at whatever yeah. personal cost to him. Yeah. I don't know, he helped us, helped us load it up. The trailer jack is broken. So he physically picked up the trailer and set it onto the uh, the hitch ball of the truck. And Lord knows, I don't know how he did it. We actually did buy it. Can you see it? Let me flip the camera around. Can you see it in the mirror? <laughs> We're gonna go slow. The tires aren't the best, they're old. And they're on old wheels. Literally have buyer's remorse already and we right. just pulled out of the driveway so it's gonna be exciting though. <laughs> How's it pull? Seems to do fine. Uh, we're up to about 75 miles an hour and not a wobble or shake or nothing. We are not. <laughs> we're going about 40. But <laughs> which right, actually 40. seems fast. Yeah I'm just well, saying. For, but... In 1973 40 was fast. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to put a couple miles on the camper uh, try to heat up the, the hubs and the bearings and I'm going to get out here in a minute and check to see if uh, anything's getting hot back there because uh, heat would be a killer at this point. Something's hot over here. It's you can somewhere. smell it. Is it no? rubbing or was it the brakes or what? Is it rubbing? It smells like rubber. It is definitely rubber. Is one of our tires about to just blow itself off. That's possible. It's not our excursion, is it? No. Definitely smells like burning rubber, though. 
<laughs> maybe <laughs> We've been driving about seven minutes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that store just said, hi, you are currently being recorded. <laughs> Do you want a drink or anything? I feel like I should go buy something. Pepsi or something? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, it's got electric brakes. Dang, nice. Yeah. Um, Are they locked up or something? You know what I'm thinking? Um, we usually pull the 31 foot travel trailer, so I didn't adjust the brake controller, not thinking that we were going to have working electric brakes. Turned it down a little bit. I might have been sliding the back tires. <laughs> we're, you know. we're literally just dragging it well, the last six miles. You know, when you got a big hoss of a truck, you can just about drag anything. So, do you want me to stand outside and make sure the tires roll before we take off again? Sure. Instead of just skid? Sure. All right. I'll, don't yeah. leave me here. All right. He's a roller. Let's go. We're going to try to pull over here again. Kind of in the middle of nowhere right now, but um, we want to check the tires and brakes and see if it still smells like something's burning. Oh, there's a poop pose. Nice. Free poop pose. <laughs> Yay. Well, I wouldn't call it free. It's a $500 poop pose. $500 poop pose. <laughs> These tires good? Uh, yeah. The, I don't uh, smell it at all. So, no, uh, no burning rubber, which is good, and no hot wheel hubs. So bearings awesome. seem to be good so far. Awesome. Should we good to go? Yeah. So in the quick walk around, I noticed there's bricks on the roof uh, right behind the AC unit. I don't think I can get. <laughs> oh yeah. Is there just one? Um, I, I see at least two. Do you? Maybe one split into two. I can't see him, but... I'm going to have to uh, reach up there and get him out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is perfect brick getting device. I mean, it doesn't pull it down onto your face right away <laughs> there is another chunk up there yeah i can't see it though yeah you got it no nope. oh now you've done it oh jeez <laughs> now look what happened oh. you broke our new brick right our door stop. What were those doing up there? Well, I don't know. All right. Well, I'm glad you saw that before we actually lost them going down the road. Right. Hey. All right. So now we're good to go. Wonderful. Everything's perfect. All right. Let's go. With any luck, we will make it back before dark. So the lesson here. I was going to go with always check your roof for bricks. Oh, well, that works too. All right, so the, the deal with this camper is it was listed for a thousand, and I had been messaging, you know, a little bit during the day today and wound up where he agreed to 600. And it's hard to really, you know, negotiate when you haven't even seen the thing, but I was thinking, okay, 600, I mean, that's worth seeing for sure. So, um, we get there, we look at it, and it's like we thought, but I'm thinking, like, we start, you get buyer's remorse before you even buy the thing, you know, and so, um, we kind of whisper, whisper, like, well, we should offer 500, and so, um, I thought, well, you know, he already came down to 600 from 1,000, is he really going to go for five, so I'm like, I don't know, I mean, would you take 500? And his eyes lit up. He's like, 
I'd take 500 for it. And I'm like, oh, dang it. <laughs> Should have no. gone 300. I don't know. But but anyway, so that's the story. And we paid him 500 bucks, and we have the title. And with any luck, we'll make it home. And that's that. So we made it. Just need to patch the holes in the roof. Tyler's just putting on some window treatments and uh, it's getting kind of dark tonight but we will come back in the next day or two and give you guys a, a proper tour and maybe you can start getting some ideas going on layout because I have no idea where to start with putting this back together. Taking a break from the RV, we just got the roof done and now we're out here looking at our recent purchase just a few days ago. We got a 1973 Holiday Vacationer. And Ella, what do you think of the trailer? It's something. <laughs> <laughs> While we were researching the travel trailer, we came across some ads that we thought you guys might enjoy. Ours is the very top one, the Holiday Vacationer. Things get a little bit more ritzy as you go down the line, the Holiday Traveler, the Holiday Rambler, and the Royal Holiday, which has all the accoutrements one could desire. <laughs> I thought it was accoutrement. The accoutrement that you will need. Accoutrement? What is that? This ad was pretty cool too because it looks like the exact camper that we bought, even down to the same colors and everything. And um, the caption here is saying, travel trailers come from the dreams of men with a vision of quality. And uh, you can see it's these men who drive their Buicks and pulling their trailer with big uh, tow mirrors on the side. <laughs> My kind of dudes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so this next ad looks like the travel trailer that we purchased. Um, it gives a brief description and you can see the price there, $3,588. So yeah, we got a deal then. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this last ad looks like it might be the same or a slightly different model, um, but this one was cool because it showed the interior and what it most likely looked like before it was all gutted out with the layout and everything. So um, you can see the, the stove there on the left-hand side, the cabinets above, um, June and Ward there, and then um, the dinette slash bed in the back with some, some additional cabinets. All right, so here she is. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick walk around the outside here and Christy and Ella are gonna give you a tour of the inside. I just wanted to show you a couple things. Everything's in really good shape for the most part. A couple little uh, dings here and there on the front. Um, other than that, the rest of the trailer is in really good shape. It does have a seven pin trailer plug. It's got dual propane tanks. It's got electric trailer brakes, which I am uh, shocked, but um, I guess that was a standard feature uh, or maybe an upgrade, but at least it was available. When I first saw the wheels, I got a little freaked out, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking, okay, these are some sort of split rim type of older wheel, something that a tire shop is not going to be able to work with. But I did some research and I stopped by a, a tire shop and they said they will in fact put tires on these rims. They're just an old design. It looks like we are in the clear on this one. All right, so we got our uh, deadbolt here. <coughs> Can you get it? Nope. Boop. Well, you made that look easy. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Rude. Is this the doorknob? That is formerly the doorknob. Yes. It's like someone got frustrated. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're here at the camper. Um, right along Ella. She's really good with ideas on floor plans and what we can do with things. So this one definitely leaves a lot of room for improvement. Improvement. Uh, all right. Uh, I want to know what your first impressions are. Why is there a sideways outlet? Sideways outlet? Yes. That's your main concern? You walked into this. And the first thing you thought of was, why is that outlet sideways? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. As we walk around, 
everything, like I said, it, it all works. It's in really good shape. Uh, we got to replace some lenses on the marker lights. Uh, under the trash bag here, we had just one pane of glass that got broke. Um, so we'll have to find a glass shop to get us a new piece of glass. Um, did not come with keys, so we can't get into any of the um, bins or uh, the uh, exterior doors there. Uh, the awning, the awning is going to have to be replaced or maybe we put a new um, piece of vinyl across there uh, because it's missing. Also, the bottom of the uh, awning here has torn away from the camper and uh, that might be wind related or just who knows. But anyway, we had to bungee it for our trip home. But like I said, after this thing gets cleaned up, it's going to be, I think, really sweet. All right, so the inside, the ceiling is pretty much gutted out. Um, you can see the ceiling's aluminum, got some wood framing, and it's going to need to be re-insulated. There is an AC unit up there, but um, there's no piece on the inside, so not sure what the status is on that. But um, if we go back, so this would be the front, um, all the windows intact. There is a massive massive bee or killer hornet is it a fly what is that's it? a bee it's oh is it a bumblebee out. yikes might not be a bumble Bumble's bumble. where is it it just fell down again how do we open that window i'd really prefer to just let him out of here he is unhappy oh <gasps> So we got a bunch of coffee cans here, very fancy. Um, the original Holiday Rambler hubcaps, uh, screen door. We can kind of do what we want with this. I'm kind of torn on, do we make it more of just a sleeping quarters and kind of like a bunkhouse, put a bunch of beds in here and maybe a table? Idea. Or do we make it more of a, a getaway, like for a couple who has four kids and might just need to take to the road at some point and <laughs> get some good relaxation. We do have the avocado original Coleman stove oven, um, the countertops under there. You can see there's a sink. I mean, I'm assuming all these cabinets and things will have to go. So we really could locate the kitchen wherever we want to. Um, there's some damage back here to this wall. So we're going to have to take all that apart. Hopefully the wood framing back there isn't too bad, but if a couple pieces are rotten, we can handle that. Some stuff. We kind of have to get rid of this insulation. Water heater here. Um, I was thinking that white tank may have actually been the black tank, but now looking at this drain here, I'm... I'm assuming the black tank's probably right underneath there. So this must have been the freshwater tank, um, which is actually cracked. So we'll need a new freshwater tank regardless. Um, I also don't really want to drink too much out of, out of that, assuming it was even the freshwater. Even worse if it was the black water tank. So um, definitely got a lot of work to do here, but it's kind of cool that we get to do whatever we want. Let me show you up here on top of the trailer real quick the roof is really surprisingly nice after uh what we've been working on in the uh the 76 cruise air i'm ready to take a break from uh doing roofing work for a while do you what do you think we should do with it i have an idea what's your idea okay so bunk bed from like kind of this area to the window all the way across okay. like stops about right here and yeah. then there's another bed about here and then there's obviously like the wood on the floor and mattress and stuff oh like about. a triple bunk yeah like a triple bunk triple. maybe mini ladder over there or something okay. and then kitchen maybe like tiny table or something i don't know a couch storage underneath where's the storage. mom and dad sleep there oh in we the got, bunk in no, the in the, uh, like, area? In the air mattress? No, what do you, you know where you drive it. There's no, 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 there's no driving part it's in this one. It's not an RV. 
no, there's no, this is what you see is what you get. Putting some ideas out there. What about a bathroom? Oh, oh I forget. I really don't know that we need a shower in here, if I'm being honest. I feel like this one could be toilet only. And do we even do Sink. like it's a black tank? I'm wondering if we even do a black tank or do we just do. What's a black tank? A uh, black tank is where all of the stuff from the toilet goes into. Oh. What's well, the white tank? Fresh water. And gray tank is like your sink water, shower water, stuff like that. So if we have a sink, we're going to need a gray tank. And you, you want a sink to wash your hands and do, oh, he's, he's on the move, and do stuff like that. But he really likes the windows. Golly, he is mad. We need to let him out. Uh, Should we see what's in these drawers? <gasps> what's Who? that? Some animal poop. Yeah, Don't know which animal. Some mouse poop. Love? You mean all we're going to get is poop? I mean, it could have been worse, like the other one. But I think if we fix it up, it'd be really great. It would be great. So, yeah. I have some ideas for the outside, too. I think we could. I mean, it's small, right? Like, it's not a huge camper. So, it wouldn't take too much to get this outside cleaned up. Like, I love this quilted look of this metal. And this has been painted once. It's all starting to come off. Um, these really cool things we got to keep cracked a little. So we might need to do a little bit of repair on that. But um, I don't know. I can just kind of picture like a vintage look maybe. And do this bottom of color. Possibly do this in like a metallic silvery color. And then all white on the top. It look pretty awesome. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. All right, so we just got back from taking you on a tour of the travel trailer. Um, everything looks really good. Um, still a work in progress, of course, so we'll have to come up with some ideas. Yeah, and if you guys have any ideas, um, things that you've seen that are creative or that work really well in smaller trailers, this is, we need to get out the tape measure, but probably just 17 or 18 feet. So right. not a lot of space, but it could be really cool once it's put together. So if you have ideas, throw those in the comments for us. Yeah. So in the meantime, as we're working on the Dodge, trying to get it finished up or at least in some sort of reasonable shape, um, if there's any point where we are waiting on parts and are on hold, we can jump over to the other RV, maybe tackle some of the uh, projects on that one. And at least it doesn't have a engine, uh, so <laughs> that's a plus. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. All right. See you.